All right, I want to go over the play cage system now. This is a cage that attaches anywhere in the combination of the one over ones, and it is accessed from the cages by the sliding panel system. So you have one solid panel that you can open. You can open the other cage panels and allow the primates from either top or bottom to access the play cage. Now we have a bunch of different features in here and all of them are adjustable. Obviously your water bottle and we also give you a two-point latching system for security. This is a huge man door, allows you to go inside the cage, change the different apparatus and uh, clean the cage. You have the ability to add a padlock here for extra security. All right, we're inside the play cage now, and I want to show you a bunch of different uh, features that we have. You have perch bars, and in this case, they're being utilized by this pan system. Now, this pan can be used for a number of things. You can use it as a foraging pan, or you can fill it with water, and it can become a play area or pool for them. To remove any of the apparatus in this cage, you just lift up, disengage the rivets from the keyhole slots and pull the rear of the bars from the whole system in the rear of the cage. Now, these will not come out when the door is closed because there's actually detents here that will keep these items from being lifted up so the primate cannot move them or get them loose while the doors are closed. And that's on both sides of the door. We also have a foraging pan system. You can put anything you like in here. Uh, treats, fruit, hay, cookies. Primates can climb up here. They can sit. They can perch. They can swing, hold on. They can forage, and then they can retreat. As you notice, we have the rabbit hole system in the bottom of the cage, too. If you were not to purchase the pool or foraging pan here, you literally create the same thing by using the rabbit hole system. If I were to open the rabbit hole and lock it open, I could actually put straw or hay down the bottom, I could hide some cookies in it. I could actually fill this pan with water and create the same effect that I'm using with these other pans up here in the perch on the perch bars. Now we're going to go over some of the uh, apparatus that attaches to this universal adapter plate. As you saw before, we had a porch that went on here. We can load a transfer box onto this. And now we're going to put the anesthesia box on. So I'm going to start with the, the adapter. I'm going to lock the spring-loaded plunger so that it is secure to the plate. All right, now I'm going to attach the anesthesia box. This is going to attach to this adapter plate by four button mounts that will engage in these slots, and then we'll lock these spring-loaded latches to seal the cage against here. We're going to create our seal with the door. In the future, this clear Lexan panel can remain connected to this. I just wanted to show you the complete assembly, and for future use, you can uh, let it, the two remain together. 
Notice you have two ports here, they're 22 millimeter for uh, 22 millimeter tubing. You have an inlet and an outlet port. sequence of events to load the primate into the anesthesia box would be opening the primate cage door, either squeezing the primate or treating him into the box, closing and locking the door, and then inserting the anesthesia box door, which is going to be used to create the seal. The door panel is just simply slid in. You'll notice these uh, small engagement pins. If you look at the edge of them, there's one forward closest to the edge of the material and one further away. You want to put this one in first. Make sure it's fully loaded in place. Make sure your latches are engaged so that they can engage the pins that are present in this door. Lock the left side first, then the right side. You confirm that there's a seal through the visual panel. Now to remove them, you must unlatch these spring-loaded latches. Now you can push the door forward from its retaining clips and pull it out. You can now unload the primate. An easy way to unload the primate would be open the door again and open the full front door and then you can remove the knockdown primate.